Well, this argument has been put forward several times just to prove or disprove the anthropogenic influence on climate in the 20th century. But this argument actually is not correct because uh, the climate of the Earth in the past has been influenced by many factors. For instance, the solar irradiance, solar variability, is changing all the time. We have also volcanic eruptions uh, in the past that uh, cause a cooling in certain years. So actually there is nothing strange if the temperatures in the past have been warmer or colder than today because all these factors are changing through time continuously. 1,000 years ago, or in the Roman times, 2,000 years ago, temperatures might have been warmer than today. But actually that doesn't play any role in the attribution of anthropogenic climate change in the 20th century. I have this torch here uh, to illustrate a little bit the solar irradiance that are acting on the Earth. And for instance, um, well, we have now the, a constant sun uh, in the 20th century, but this constant sun has been dimmed in the past or may have been also war, um, more stronger in the past, so changing the, uh, the Earth's temperatures by natural factors. We may have also some um, volcanic eruptions that are like short shocks that dim the solar irradiance and also cool the planet. We can measure if in the, in the last 30 years the solar irradiance has increased or, or, or has decreased. We can measure if the volcanic eruptions have become more frequent or less frequent. And we can put all these estimations into the climate models. Without um, anthropogenic emissions of carbon dioxide, we cannot explain the warming trend. And with these emissions, then we can explain this warming trend. Thank <laughs> you.